making an FPV camera for a boat first of all it has to be waterproof just in case the boat which is a model boat of course just in case the boat has to <coughs> go through rough waves or whatever and it turns upside down you don't want the camera dam damaged so this is a nice little camera I made up it's got a range of about four five hundred meters which is more than enough for normal use now what I have used it's a gold point soldier which is uh, not very expensive to buy and it's fully waterproof when it's closed a 12 volt DC camera it's got about 600 TV lines which I took out of a security system camera and the small transmitter which is a TS5A23 a really good transmitter I have used it up to about 600 meters and still get good reception first of all what I did is I took the GoPro enclosure and I drill one of the buttons out if you can just see it that's uh, for the cable to come out and I drilled the top part of it I took one of the buttons out and I drilled it and that's uh, for the aerial to come out next I took the camera apart which is this one here and it's 600 TV lines camera it's easy to come apart and I got the module out using this module is good because it's got the little hole at the back like you plug in for your 12 volts and also your cable that, that goes uh, for your video and uh, what I did was that goes actually spot on there with a little bit of uh, super glue it stays in place with a uh, socket at the bottom of it there as you can see it's spot on where it's supposed to be next uh, I use the little transmitter the TS5823 5.8 gigahertz and uh, that's the actual installation of it as you can see the cables are joined the two pair of cables the red ones the two black ones are joined and the video goes to the video the little uh, wrapper grommet seals the aerial and you can immerse it in water and no water will be coming through and the same thing with the side you have to stick a bit of silicone around it on the outside and becomes fully waterproof and there you got it a nice neat FPV fully waterproof camera for a model boat so no worries uh, if your boat turns upside down mind you if you're a good uh, boat uh, driver that won't happen but uh, these things do happen and uh, in which case no water is going to get in and the camera safe and your transmitter safe the cable mind you the other end of it it goes straight onto the 12 volts and uh, the camera starts to transmit right away once it goes on the reason i use the ts5a23 is because of its size it fits nicely inside the GoPro camera enclosure and uh, this is the camera I use and I took the module from it it's an old camera I had and uh, it's a 600 TV lines it does pale, went to see 
and uh, they only cost about thirty odd dollars. But the 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 very reliable cameras. I had it on a job. I do work or I used to work as a security installer, and. Uh, when people had to upgrade, they used to keep the cameras, and now they come handy. As I said, the range is really good range. That's the module again. You get about five, six hundred uh, meters out of it, and it's really good. I use um, the GoPro camera, the fully waterproof one, on my boats. And I mainly use them on uh, uh, the bait boats I make, which I call Lake Centrance bait boats, which they can be used out in the ocean, of course. And that's the main purpose of it, to take a bait out in the ocean. I'm just making a new mold for a new shape now, as you can see. And uh, that's going to be the next uh, generation bait boat. That's the top of it and of course that's the complete bait boat as you can see it's got the rider at the back a drain plug a bait release which is this part here where you swivel it's hooked onto it the whole lot comes apart once you press your button on your remote control there's plenty of room to put your bait on it and it can go up to five six hundred meters out where you normally won't be able to cast and uh, as you can see my GoPro camera it sits up the front of it that it's holder and uh, it does a really good job paired by 30 or 40 a trolling motor 12 volts I use lithium batteries and uh, there is plenty of room for the for the bait to sit on it. You can see one of the batteries I got inside, Shure battery, and it gives me good range. And I also have uh, the larger version of it that can take a bit more bait out. And got two charging port. It's got charging port up the front, positive, negative to charge your battery. You don't have to take the battery out. And uh, it's very reliable. There's the big motor and the rudder at the back. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, not very heavy. Once again, it's made by the bait boat lakes entrance. And to take it down, sometimes it's quite a bit of distance from where the car park is. I made this little trolley. Look at that. The boat sits on it and it's easy to move around. They only cost about 40 bucks to make, so they're not very expensive, but they've got big ties to handle the sand. And this is the new bottom hole for the new bait boat I'm making. A little bit different shape. I have to make a plug out of him, like this the plug. So I have to make a good mold out of him. And out of the mold, I'll start taking the new shapes bait boats out. And uh, I found it really good, especially with a camera. Because you can use that FPV camera to see where the boat goes, what it does. And uh, it's quite simple. I hope it will help you out if you need uh, to get yourselves an FPV camera that's fully waterproof. It's, I hate to make mine waterproof, it's most of the time waves will go over the boat and originally the cameras I used they got damaged right away. Where by using this uh, GoPro enclosure I didn't have that problem. Uh, this is Con Pego from Lake Centres Bait Boats. See ya!